happy happy hump day folks this is pj as usual um in traffic and in true sdq style we are giving god thanks for life for health for strength and all good things so the schools that were featured in last night's airing of schools challenge quiz were mm -hmm. knox knox college and they went up against Jonathan Grant High. Jonathan Grant High. Um, so prior to me going into the, the you know, watching the match, I would have looked up the seeding, the current seeding of both schools. So Knox is at 23 and Jonathan Grant is at 42, I think. I'm going to say, Jano, I saw low them drop. Um, because I would have observed Jonathan Grant about two or three years ago. Um, they had a fabulous team, by the way. I can't forget that there was this girl, um, in the team. I, I call her a nanny, she did proper. Um, and that team gave, I think it was Manchester, they beat Manchester fair and square, like a proper beating. Them gave Manchester, it was a fa that match was unforgettable. Um, that being said. Having watched the match last night, I understand why they're at such a low seating. Um, them just now, them just now cut it like the, the last match. So let's look at the stats for the different rounds. The opening challenge ended on three to Knox and two to Jonathan Grant. The speed section now. At the time I said, you know, these scores are low, you know, the two school them. But suffice to say, I had to retract my statement as it regards Knox because as the speed section progressed, people is like they stepped out of their cocoon and they blossomed into this absolutely stunning butterfly that, that started soaring. They were soaring to new heights during that round. Um, we're talking an average of six to seven questions a minute that was being correctly answered by Knox. Meanwhile, back in Jonathan Grant's camp, not did I go on. I'd say they were, they were in the dock, they were struggling. Um, the first minute they answered two questions correctly, the second minute they answered three questions correctly, and then the third minute it was two two questions again and then they went into the buzz around at nine with Jonathan Grant's 21 or 22 I think and the buzzer ended on the buzz around ended on 30 for Knox and 15 for Jonathan Grant I think after the break they came back to say that one of the questions that Jonathan Grant had answered was incorrect so it basically it took them down to 13 13 ah uh, Jonathan Grant ah uh, I, do, I don't know what to say I don't know if you'll qualify as a wild card because unlike Digicel a wild card has never been known to win a competition so and that concludes the stats for last night's match so I just have a feeling that, you know, Knox is just going to dethrone and, and upset and just just throw the match into a frenzy in a surprise victory. I feel like I'm going to kick out one school foot. I don't know who, but they strike me like, like them are going to cause a, a major upset. I can't wait for them thing. I love to see them have them unexpected dethroning. Yeah? So I'm, I'm rooting for you. Um, Knox, the only thing I like about you are your uniform. The color them. When I try the color black, I don't know about talk to people. When your uniform not look so nice, I don't like it style. But anyway, it's no indication of your academic potential or your competency. But anyway. Oh, yes. And, and how can we forget all good old Marlene? People, 
I don't know what you said when Marlene with the French question them nobody can nobody even try to attempt it I don't even think people in a Paris or France understand what Marlene has said they probably look at each other and say mm, je ne sais pas je ne sais pas huh? me ne 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 I don't the people I'm Marlene literally sound like when somebody eat hot patty and I try to talk at the same time I saw the accent them come off it doesn't sound right that's why I can't, me can't really reprimand the kids when they get the French question them correct because they are at a disadvantage but anyway guys on that note have a really good rest of Wednesday and I'll see you all in the morning toodles